Okay, let's go on. Let's go on a snarky fashion IG central, also known as uh, Diet Proud, and see what they're talking about, what they're outraged about, right? Because um, they're always a funny group of people to go and hang out with, right? Imagine, imagine hanging out with the Diet Prada guys, right? And talking about fashion, man. Just be snark levels supreme. Oh, don't like anything. Everything shit. Uh. Anyway, let's go. Let's see what this, let's see what these guys are talking about. Um, where is it? Uh, you got it on here? Do you got it on here? Let's see what Diet Prada are talking about here. So. Diet Prada have this interesting post about post, sorry, about um, our girl, uh, Kendall Jenner, maybe the second smartest Ken- Jenner of the whole Jenners and all that malarkey. So this is interesting, right? Supposedly, this is meant to be some kind of weird ad. I saw a picture which was quite cool, right? I saw a really cool image someone posted on social media. Yeah, this is the one, right? So interesting to see, to say the least, right? And but in my sense, as a marketing guy, right, I've had uh, I have over five years, maybe ten years experience working in marketing, content marketing, community management, uh, brand partnerships. I'm a lucky. Um, I'm a big fan of reading. You know, back in the day, I used to love reading guerrilla marketing books. Now it's got a bit pastiche and a bit you know over the top. But in general, I'm a big fan of um, the attention economy, right? And what brands are willing to do in order to grab people's attention. How conniving they can be, how innovative can they can be, how brazen they can be. You need to look at KFC and Burger King and the desperation to have any kind of attention, any eyes is good eyes. And sometimes the clever um, ways they do things. Like this new BuzzFeed article I saw the other day where they kind of highlighted that this supposedly quite mundane Instagram um, account of this um, um, builder working on a construction site was actually a front for a coffee brand promoting their brand of coffee, which, I, which kind of just got rumbled recently. But this story is really interesting. So, there's this image I saw of Kendall Jenner post on social the other, the other day, randomly, right? This really cool CCTV image of Kendall Jenner supposedly buying a can of Coke in a bodega somewhere, right? Looking incredible, right? Kendall Jenner probably, I'd say aesthetically, out of all the Jenners, out of all the Kardashians, maybe the most stunning to look at, right? As a, as a female, because she just has probably the most, she has the less work done of anyone. She's got a, essentially quite an athletic figure. She tends to work out quite often and just has a very sexy vibe about her in general, right? So there's an amazing CCTV image that she's kind of captured or someone's taken for her, maybe behind a screenshot of her basically leaning on a counter, kind of strewn, bending back, amazing silhouette, wearing this great kind of yellowy orange uh, dress, great high heels, paying for her drink in a, in a, in a, in a bodega, okay? Nothing to see here, cool. Therefore, nothing of it kept her moving, right? But supposedly that product, is saying that this was whole this was an entire marketing scheme employ in order to kind of um, get this new orange uh vanilla coca-cola out to the masses so the post on diet product says the following um i i've got it here on the screen but if you're really, really listening via the podcast i'll read it out now um diet product says um hashtag ad Short-lived Pepsi spokesmodel Kendall Jenner, again, snarky out us, made a glamorous uh, bodega run in New York City yesterday to grab a can of Coke. It wasn't just any Coke, though. The most recently launched orange vanilla, which sounds very tasty, flavor she chose happened to just be a couple Pantone shades away from uh, perfectly matching her dress. Yeah, cool. And the earrings, too, it looks like, right? Gold earrings. She just she looks really good, doesn't she? Bloody hell. She's stunning. Um... Surely enough, images of her with the beverage were soon splashed all over the web. Was this color harmony a coincidence or had the Jenna Coca-Cola f- been scheming to skirt around the FTC social media advertising guidelines? Which probably is true, right? Because nowadays, if you're branding, if you're kind of promoting something, you have to do the whole hashtag ad thing. But I guess some brands and some influencers feels like it cheapens. I'm, I'm sure some influencers, probably especially the good ones, the really the ones that are super picky about who they associate with and they don't just you know anything that comes to inbox they take but the ones that are really picky are probably really picky about what goes on their feed even the captions and and they really think maybe the hashtag ad thing cheapens their overall social media feed i know some people were accusing someone similar it might have been the other hadid of doing that during coachella when she was um promoting mcdonald's right and it was just like come on you don't eat mcdonald's right you look amazing amazing people don't eat mcdonald's um so a way to get around it is maybe to have these weird guerrilla tactic things where you seemingly have a, you know, a run the mill celebrity buying a run the mill item and then only later does the correlation come between, you know, oh yeah, shit, I want to buy that thing. Um, for me personally, looking from the outside in as a marketing guy, I think it's genius. I think if this is true and it was a, a ploy between Coca-Cola and Pepsi, Coca-Cola and Kendall Jenner, great 
um, advertising, great marketing, because essentially when I see that kind of Coke, I'm going to go buy it myself and have a little taste. I don't drink Coke in general, but I'll definitely taste that. I think it's definitely a little bit more refined and well done than the whole Pepsi campaign, which made no sense. You know, Kendall Jenner isn't a political activist. She doesn't, you know, no one goes to her for societal um, POVs. Um, it was weird that they wanted to have her be the spokesperson for this whole, like, you know, have a kind of Pepsi. It stops war, stops conflict. We can come together in harmony. Really very, very strange. Um, even though the optics of it were weird anyway, but just choosing Kendall as the person was strange. I think they, if they would have picked that Zedenia girl from Euphoria, who's kind of a bit woke and social justice kind of vibe, she would probably made more sense with the Pepsi campaign. This didn't make any sense. Cool. This makes a lot more sense, right? It's done very tasteful. It's in New York. She's going to Bodega to buy a drink, which, you know, doesn't make sense because she would definitely get mobbed if she was in that Bodega on her own, just buying a can of Coke. Um, and I don't know if you, if the, I don't know if the first thing you'd want to do wearing a dress like that and looking the way she does is buy a can of Coke to get you bloated. Probably isn't the first thing you want to do. Or maybe it is. It's a hot day. You want to have a cool beverage. It might be a good thing, but I think it's very cleverly done. Personally, I'm a big fan of it. Um, there's some other screenshots here that kind of prove um, that this might be a ploy in general. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, again, Diet Prada aren't, mess aren't the best source because they're, you know, they're fans of anything popular, you know, anything mainstream, anything out there to the masses. They're not really a big fan of. I think if this was Raph Simmons or, you know, Helmet Lang, they would have probably been wanking themselves over it. But, you know, because it's the Jenners, it kind of cheapens it for them. But I don't know. If it is a ploy, I'm not mad at it, man. I think it looks pretty cool. And it's worked for me because I'm definitely going to get myself an orange vanilla Coca-Cola. wonder what that tastes like, isn't it? Imagine mixing the orange vanilla Coca-Cola with Ciroc vanilla vodka. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What taste of that would be, right? That's a collaboration I want to see.